Good morning, everyone. Today is Weigh In Wednesday. You know what that means? It's the morning that I get on the scale and look for a little feedback after two cups of black coffee. So many of you ask me, why do I always say that about the black coffee? It's because I'm just kind of telling you that I'm consistent with how I do it. I started years ago drinking two cups of black coffee. At the time, actually, it was two cups of coffee with some creamer and sugar in it. But now it's two cups of black coffee. And so I don't want to have one cup or three cups or have breakfast because I just kind of want to be consistent with how I weigh. You know what I mean? Every little ounce counts to us when we're working hard for it. You know, we're working hard for it. All right, so today I'm going to tell you what the scale said. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? What could I do better? And of course, what did my dietitian think? Overall, are we making any changes? Are we leaving things alone? So we're going to jump right into that. But first, I want to show you guys something. Do you notice that my eyes are fancy today? So I did my eye makeup because a company sent me a winged eyeliner stamp, which I thought was super cool. The company is called Eye Method Beauty. So I'm an, I don't know if you can, sometimes it flips it, but it says Eye Method Beauty. And I just want to show this to you because I thought it was so cool. And I kind of like how my eyes came out. So I'm always like super sensitive to over lining my eyes because you know when you get a little bit older you can tend to look like Joan Jett and black cards and that's not the thing that's not the one at least for me anyway not going for that so I was like okay well you know I'll try this but I'm not like a big cat eye eartha kit kind of person but I feel like it opened up my eyes and defined them a little bit without wearing a ton of eyeliner I do have a little bit of eyeliner underneath I don't have any on top and I don't have false eyelashes on. So I want to show you this. It's, it's actually super cool for us amateurs. So you get a right and a left so that your stamp goes the correct direction. And I'll show you. I, I just think it's so cool. So one end is an eyeliner and watch this. I mean, it's like a marker. Anyone can do that. But if you're anyone like me, it would be like super shaky and a mess. So look at this. You, it has a stamp. Can you see that? I hope you can, I'm trying to get an angle where you can see it, but it's a stamp. So you take the stamp and boom, wherever you want it. That's how you do it. And there's a right and a left, which I just think, I mean, it's kind of foolproof. So what I did, because I didn't want a super heavy wing, I stamped it and then I took a little Q-tip and I just sort of blended it out. Is it perfect? No, but it's the first time I tried it. So anyway, I will link a, um, I will leave a link below for you on this because I was unsure and I'm telling you, even I can do this. And I thought it, I thought it came out really nice. Winged eyeliner stamp for perfect wings. All right, let's talk about my weight. Have I avoided it long enough? All right, what did the scale say? The scale said that I am down 1.1 pounds. Can you believe it? I am telling you I am working for it or my body is working for me right now. Now, what am I doing differently? I'm, I'm gonna give you what did I do right and this is exactly what I've been doing, ready? So do I count my WW points? Yes, I do. Do I go over them every single day? Yes, I do. But I don't think I'm going way over. So usually if I if I took my 21 points that I get on Weight Watchers and I took my 26 weeklies and spread that over the week, I'm there plus I'm having a relaxed meal. Now, why do I think I'm continuing to lose weight all of a sudden? Two things. One, I have re-implemented intermittent fasting, but I'm doing it a lot more seriously. So I used to do intermittent fasting, but I wasn't really strict about it. You know, I would say, okay, I fasted for 12 hours or 14 hours and now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat. So what I'm doing now is I am going 16 hours. Now you might say, are you crazy? 16 hours, I would start. Would you really? Because think about this. Do you stop eating around seven o'clock? I do. So if I stop eating at seven o'clock, then seven o'clock the next morning is 12 hours. So for me, I sip black coffee 
all morning when I'm reading emails, I'm doing work, I'm editing videos, I'm pulling property for people. I will sip black coffee all morning and that does not break your fast. So if I go, so let's say I did seven to seven and I want to get to 16, then I only need until 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. That would be my first meal or protein shake or whatever to break the fast. So that's what I've been doing. I start eating about 11, sometimes 12, because you know why? Let's say I, I eat later in the evening. I eat at 8 o'clock at night. If I'm going to do a 16-hour fast, then 8 to 8 is 12. You are sleeping during the fast. And then, you know, you have to get to your additional time frame to get to your 16 hours. Some people start with 12 hours. Some people go to 14 hours. Some people do 16. Some people do 20. And right now, that's just no for me because I don't want to try to cram eating into a four-hour window. That, to me, I don't think I can do. And honestly, I don't want to do it. Now, what did I do wrong? I don't think I did anything wrong. And it, when I'm saying wrong, you guys know what I mean. I mean, did I have any big screw-ups or eat off plan or anything like that? I did not. Um, I don't think there's really anything I would do differently. So let's talk about what my dietitian thought. All right, let me take a, a sip of coffee. All right, now I meet with my dietitian every week. She is a, I'm calling her a dietitian now. I used to call her a health coach, which was not correct. And I needed to make sure that I made that distinction for you because many of you asked me, is it just like a person I got off the internet or somebody that, you know, did a crash course on the internet and got certified or whatever? No, it's a degreed licensed dietitian. And she also, her specialty is in diabetes prevention, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So we're really diving into macros and the whole bit. Now listen, ask your health insurance company if you have that offered to you, because I am hearing from a lot of you that many of you made a phone call to your insurance company and you can have this as well. It is free. I'm paying nothing. They pay for it as part of a prevention overall wellness program. So I'm loving it so far. So anyway, I just thought I would mention that. Definitely see if you have that available as well. But what does she think? Okay, so what does she think of the intermittent fasting? I know many of you are probably going to want to know that. She said, completely fine as long as... Like, don't, she said, don't do a 20-hour fast and then eat a ton of calories in a four-hour window. She said, that will spike your insulin and you'll gain weight and your body will instantly go into sort of what people call starvation mode, even though it really isn't. Nobody's starving around here, okay? But it's just a crash and a spike. So she doesn't want me doing that. She said, for now, the 16 is fine. She said, if I ever wanted to get to 20, we could work into it. But honestly, like I said before, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think that sounds good to me or appealing. So she said, once I'm going to break the fast, just eat what I would normally eat because she knows that I do watch the carbs. Now, would I want to break the fast with a plate of pancakes? Probably not because it would spike your insulin. It would spike your blood sugar. For those of you who don't know, I don't have diabetes, but I did get a high-ish A1C rating. So I'm trying to make sure because I have such a strong diabetic background in my family, I don't want to get that. So I'm trying to do what I can do to control what I can control. So when I break my fast, I break it with eggs or with Greek yogurt or sometimes even a protein shake because it has a lot of protein in it. So that's how I break the fast and she, she likes that. She's good with that. So I had mentioned we moved my macros around and by macros, I just mean my overall calories, but the breakdown of protein, fat, um, carbohydrates. I also track my sugar. I also take a look at my fiber. So I'm making sure that all of those macronutrients are in line and, you know, just that I'm feeling good because how you feel really to me, that's a huge determiner on how I do on my diet. Because if I'm eating things I don't like, or I'm eating too little, or I'm eating too much, I feel like crap. If you're anything like me, you know exactly what I'm saying. So I think we have things kind of dialed in that my body is liking it. So as I mentioned, just to recap, yes, I'm following WW to keep myself in boundaries right now of, you know, what I want to eat. I don't want to make a choice to eat 
you know, 150 calorie two Oreos versus 150 calories of a full cup of Greek non fat yogurt or something like that with some strawberries. I'm trying to really make sure that I am out of the habit of making those bad decisions. And that is the main reason that I'm leaving WW around my fitness pal, which is how I track my calories and macros. I am double tracking, but it's no big deal. It takes me an extra literally two minutes to do it. And it's a huge education for me to know what I'm eating. So right now I feel like we have things dialed in. I'm happy with that. I am still not at goal. I'm very close, but I'm not there. I will let you guys know if and when I ever hit goal. But, and for those of you, I get this question all the time. My goal is between 140 and 145 pounds. I'm just outside of that. So that is where I am this week. Overall, very happy with the week. Like I said, I'll leave this little fancy wink wing stamp below and I recommend it if you want to change up your eye look a little bit or make it a little bit more dramatic every now and again when you go out. I don't know. I think it came out pretty cute. So also um, in case anybody is curious, I leave all the makeup I'm wearing down below in the description box as well. I've gotten a lot better at that. You guys have said you know, don't tell us you're going to leave it below and then don't leave it below. So I created a page so it's always down there. Anyway, I'm going to finish the rest of my coffee. I will see you on...